SME phishing, or SMS phishing, scams are similar to your standard email phishing scam, with the exception that rather than email, the scammer attempts to trick the prospective victim via a text message sent to their phone rather than an email. It's actually an even more duplicitous way of scamming victims. That's because text messages have a greater sense of urgency than emails. After all, if you receive a text from someone it has to be important. When you get a SME ishing text, you'll likely see something asking you to call a phone number, or, even worse, click a link to address an issue by providing your bank account, smartphone data plan or some other form of highly personal information. Calling a phone number could result in someone talking you into giving up your social security number, banking information, or website login information. Click on a link in your text message and it could take you to a fraudulent website meant to make you think it's from something like your bank, wireless service provider or sometimes the internal revenue service. Clicking that link alone may saddle you with malware on your smartphone, but if you actually enter your personal information on such a site, you could be turning it over to criminals who can then take over your private accounts. It's not an exaggeration to say that if someone steals your information, they can take full control over some of your most private accounts. If you think you've received a fraudulent text or call, contact your wireless carrier or the institution the person on the other end of the line claims to represent. From there you can see if you're being tricked or you've got an actual issue. But in reality, chances are, it's a scam. So remain vigilant. And, above all, take a second before opening that next text. More from Dan, email Daniel Howley at Dowley at, follow him on Twitter at, at Daniel Howley. Follow News Pulse Finance on Facebook, Twitter, INSTagram, and LinkedIn.